I'm Jim Trinker. I'm head of post-production at Special Gun Productions. Uh, we do everything from live action commercials to gameplay trailers. We do a lot of YouTube stuff and we produce documentaries for the BBC as well. Sometimes it's just straight up commercial content where we're just showcasing uh, this is a game, this is a feature list, or we're trying to find a narrative in a lot of documentary footage. So the kind of stuff we do varies. Video games tend to use colour to direct the player to certain things. They tend to have very striking looks and when you do a live action commercial for a video game you often want to try and mimic that color palette which is difficult to do in live action it's obviously a very different medium so you need a screen that's going to give you accurate color reproduction the pa34 vc is color calibrated out of the box which is incredibly important because it means as soon as you set it up you always have the assurance that the images you're looking at are accurate the 100 percent srgb and hdr functionality is incredibly useful particularly obviously if you're making hdr content it's got really deep black levels. It's less about making the images pop like you would with a gaming monitor. It's all about being able to see the entire bit depth of an image that's being reproduced. Um, that's what you want when you're making content. That's why this is so much better than using um, a standard piece of equipment instead. The 21 by 9 aspect ratio is incredible. It's a 1440p resolution, so there's so much screen real estate in there. So whatever software you're using, instead of having to flip between lots of little tabs, uh, you can have all of the tools that you use commonly just open permanently. So that actually saves you a lot of time. We do uh, a lot of localization where we're adding foreign subtitles to productions, which is a discipline where you're doing a lot of copy and pasting, you're doing a lot of like really finite editing but where certain sentences start and end and it's always a massive nightmare if you don't have you know if you don't have a lot of space you're always zooming in and out and then switching tabs to the next screen and then going back again and it just stops you having to do stuff like that. The amount of time it saves, the amount of effort it saves can be better spent elsewhere in the project then. If I had any advice for budding content creators, it would be to find a workflow that suits you. There's nothing worse than having an idea and not being able to quickly sketch it up or you know put something together as quickly as possible. Speed helps ideas come along, right? One of the things that, that lubricates a good workflow is having the right equipment and you know, having uh, the tools that make it really easy to get ideas onto the screen.